This is a bowl of ramen that will change your life. Once you're gonna have a taste of this ramen, Hello, beautiful people! Well, today I am gonna teach you how to make one of my favorite ramen dishes. Tantanmen ramen. And not forgetting, wait till the end because I am gonna teach you how to eat properly the ramen dish. Look, usually it's very known that most of the ramen dishes contain pork. But in my versions, I'm always making beef or chicken. Lovely people, if you wanna learn the entire process of making the ramen dish, we're talking about the ramen broth, ajituke, tamago, the noodles, the entire process. I will add the playlist link in my description below. Let's start making this exquisite ramen bowl. So as always, the first step, we're gonna start making the tare. The base of the ramen. So, in a small bowl, we're gonna add some Japanese sesame paste. Do not use tahini. Look, both of them are basically a sesame paste. But to be honest with you, I have tried both of them and they both have a different flavor. So, my preferences is to use Japanese sesame paste. We can add the chili oil, a bit of mirin, the soya sauce, and some fine chopped scallions. We're gonna mix the entire combination and then we're gonna set them on the side. The second step, we're gonna make the topping that we're gonna place on the top of the ramen dish. In Japan, they are always using pork in this recipe, but I am gonna make it with beef. So, in a pan, in a medium heat, we're gonna add some toasted sesame oil. Lovely people, do not add sesame oil. Add toasted sesame oil. Look, both of them are different and both of them have a different flavor. When you add the toasted sesame oil, there is a certain flavor that I'm really looking for and it makes the dish magical. Second, some fine chopped garlic. Third, fine chopped ginger. We're gonna mix them until everything is soft. Have you ever tried ramen before? What is your favorite ramen dish? Leave me a comment and let me know. Then we're gonna add the ground beef. We're gonna mix it until everything is cooked. And now we're gonna add the seasoning. We're gonna pour some dark soya sauce, then the soya sauce, and then we're gonna mix the entire combination and again we're gonna set them on the side. While you're making a ramen bowl, you have to be patient and you have to balance the seasoning properly. So this is the second secret to make a beautiful tatan ramen. In a pot, in a medium heat, again, we're gonna heat the broth, then we're gonna add the soya milk. We're gonna mix the entire combination and again we're gonna set them on the side. I really enjoy making wonderful and authentic dishes. What about you? Now again, as usual, we're gonna blanch the noodles for three minutes and we're gonna set them aside. My favorite part while making any recipe is the plating. Here you go. All the mise en place is ready. Everything is ready. Now it's time to make this beautiful, exquisite ramen bowl. Now we're gonna add the tare sesame paste. We're gonna add the soya sauce. We're gonna add some fine chopped scallions. I really like my ramen when there's a lot of crunchiness in it. We're gonna add the broth with the soya milk that we did. Then we're gonna add the noodles. Now we're gonna add the ajisuke tamago. Oh my God, this dish looks so sexy. Beautiful people, if you're looking to purchase a ramen bowl, I will place the link in my description below. The blanched spinach, the beef mixture that we did, a bit of corn, the scallions, the black pepper. I like it more chili. I'm gonna add a bit of chili oil on the top. Oh my God. Truly a bowl of heaven. When you eat the bowl of noodle, it's very important to grab the two chopsticks with your fingers. Take the entire noodles, you're gonna form a note in your mouth, like that, all right? Then you can place it, and watch carefully what I'm gonna do with my hands with the chopsticks as well, all right? And as well, beautiful people, there's always a special spoon that they use in all Asian countries. I don't have it honestly with me. Um, they basically drink the soup with it. You can always drink the soup this way as well with a bowl. Oh my God, I can't get enough. Beautiful people, I hope you enjoyed my two ramen dish recipes. Honestly, those two dishes are really incredible. I have taught you everything that you need to know from A to Z. I hope to see you very soon with a new vlog, a new recipe. It really depends. And uh, ciao guys, we'll see you very soon. Have a beautiful day, all right?